Today, let us study the Word of God under the title, The Heart Longing for Eternity. It is written in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, He has also set eternity in the hearts of men. Let's see this in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 10. It reads, I have seen the burden God has laid on men. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men. Yet, they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. When God revives a heart that is longing for eternity within us, we will become content in all circumstances, united, joyful, and considerate of others. We will also yield for one another and value others above ourselves with humility. In this way, we can surely become the children of God who implement true love. The question is, do we live with a heart that is always longing for eternity? Or do we live with a heart only longing for the moment? We can say a heart always longing for eternity is the most important thing in our life of faith. Our life will not end with this physical world, but it will surely continue afterwards. For the people who long for eternity, God grants circumstances that enables them to have a heart that longs for eternity more and more. That is why it is written in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, I have seen the burden God has laid on men. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 teaches us that people long for eternity because of their burden. That is why it is written in 1 Thessalonians, Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. Why does God give us this commandment? Since we experience many hardships and sorrows on the earth, we come to have hope and a yearning heart for the eternal world. Our hardships are necessary in the process to open our eyes to see the eternal world. When we realize this, we will not regard our pain, difficulties, and sufferings as obstacles. We can be thankful for everything. Those who give thanks for all things can look forward to eternity. And when our hearts are set on eternity, everything can be accomplished. God prepares the eternal world where there is no more pain, crying, or suffering for those who look forward to eternity. Then, they will be able to rejoice and give thanks from the bottom of their hearts to Heavenly Father and Mother for creating the eternal world. As God has granted us an environment that gives us great longing for eternity, we should give thanks, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother even more. Thank you very much.